Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Skolnick, and I'm a PhD candidate in epidemiology at the University of Michigan. I'm a trainee for the Center for the Assessment of Tobacco Regulations, aka CASTER. Currently, my research involves understanding racial disparities in lung cancer and the mechanisms of exactly how tobacco use patterns tie into these disparities. More specifically, my dissertation has focused on using computational modeling to understand and describe interesting smoking paradoxes. For example, there's a particularly interesting paradox that I am currently investigating. Why do Black men have higher rates of lung cancer than white men, despite smoking less? So Black men smoke fewer cigarettes per day and less frequently, but have higher rates of lung cancer. I explore this question and others using a combination of computational models and high quality data. For example, I have constructed a model of lung carcinogenesis that allows me to account for an individual's entire smoking history and understand the impact of initiation, which is when an individual starts smoking, cessation, or when an individual quits smoking, and cumulative exposure of cigarettes on race, racial differences in lung cancer rates. I'm interested in understanding these mechanisms for a purpose, to inform policies that can be used to hopefully alleviate racial disparities that are so pervasive in every element of health and at every level of healthcare, and particularly in tobacco-related diseases. A combination of different life experiences brought me to this work. During my first semester of college, I took a class on racial disparities in public health, which introduced me to how epidemiology can be used as a tool to understand health disparities with the purpose of saving lives. I then chose to build skills that would help me in a future in epidemiological research, including majoring in an interdisciplinary biology sociology degree and minoring in mathematics. When I came to the University of Michigan, I took some computational modeling classes and saw for the first time how powerful modeling was in exploring and understanding complex systems. Modeling is a powerful tool that can help us to understand mechanisms, test counterfactual scenarios in simulated populations, and in particular, test scenarios and interventions that might not be feasible to test in a real-world population, and make predictions. All of these things can guide real-world interventions and policies. Thus, the work we do with modeling can have a huge impact. My advice for those entering the field of regulatory science research, of tobacco regulatory science research and modeling is to find your people. Find people that you enjoy working with, that push you to answer questions and investigate, who give you the confidence to handle challenging problems. Because while the work is very interesting and that's a great motivator as well, it's important that you have people by your side during the times where things can get difficult. My other piece of advice is if you're interested in this field, to start reading papers. I think the answer in life is almost always to read more. Thank you.